In our previous videos, we discussed about electricity. We have also discussed about current, voltage, and resistance, as well as how they affect each other, as stated in Ohm's Law. Now, we already know that most of our devices and machines use electricity for them to work. Many things can function using electricity because it is easy to store, distribute, and can be available anytime as long as there is a supply. Each device that uses a current is part of at least one circuit, the circuit that supplies its voltage. Most electrical appliances have many circuits inside them that are designed to carry out specific functions. Those circuits may be designed to light bulbs, move motor parts, or calculate. Each of those circuits may have thousands or even millions of parts. The functions that a circuit can perform depend on how those parts are set up within the circuit. There are two main types of circuits series, and parallel circuits. Each one has its own distinct features, advantages, and disadvantages. Let's differentiate them from one another. Let's begin with the series circuit. In a series circuit, this involves two or more devices connected to one single path. Devices are connected to the same circuit and are dependent on the functionality of one another. So what are the advantages of using a series circuit? First, it does not overheat easily. This makes them very useful in case they might be around a potentially flammable source, like dry plants or cloth. Second, it is easy to learn and to make. Their simple design is easy to understand, and this means that it's simple to conduct repairs. Lastly, it can add more power devices since they have a higher output in terms of voltage. What about the disadvantages of using a series circuit? One, if one point breaks, the total circuit breaks. And two, because of increased circuit components, the circuit resistance is greater. All right, now let's move on to parallel circuits. This type of circuit involves two or more devices having their own independent pathway. The resistance decreases and electric current increases when more devices are added onto it through independent branches. The advantages of using a parallel circuit are 1. Every unit that is connected gets an equal amount of voltage. 2. It is easy to connect or disconnect a device without affecting the working of other devices. And lastly, if any fault happened to one pathway of the circuit, the current is still able to pass. The disadvantages of using a parallel circuit are 1. It requires the use of a lot of wires. 2. It cannot increase or multiply the voltage. Three. If too many connections are added, the total amount of current can exceed the safe level of current that the circuit can handle. Now let's differentiate both series and parallel circuits in terms of connection, voltage drop, current, and equivalent resistance. In a series circuit, devices are connected to wires to form one single path. On the other hand, in a parallel circuit, each device has its own branch that is connected to the node. The node is the point where all branches are gathered or connected to the same source. The sum of the voltage drops across individual devices is the total voltage supplied by the source in a series circuit. In a parallel circuit, the amount of voltage drops supplied by the source is the same amount for all the devices. In terms of current, in a series circuit, the electric current passes through a single path. The amount of current passing through all electric devices is the same. However, in a parallel circuit, the total current in the circuit is the sum of currents in the parallel branches. Lastly, 
In terms of equivalent resistance, in a series circuit, the total resistance of the circuit is the sum of all resistance. An increase in devices connected results in an increase in overall resistance. On the other hand, in parallel circuits, the total resistance is inversely proportional to the sum of the resistance of the different branches. As the number of parallel branches increases, resistance decreases. Alright, so that's it for series in parallel circuits. So we've learned that electricity is a valuable resource in our daily lives. But electricity can be dangerous, especially when not handled properly. For instance, this scenario is actually alarming. Overloading is a problem that may occur in parallel circuits, which can potentially cause fires. Another problem that may happen in series and parallel circuits is a short circuit. It is an unintentionally constructed path with the least resistance between two conductors supplying electrical energy. This is dangerous because the short circuit will acquire too much current and it will eventually heat up. The high temperature can lead to explosion that will blow up the power source. Our body is a good conductor of electricity because we are made up of water and other chemicals that are positively and negatively charged. If we touch electrical devices with wet hands, the electricity can pass through our body and cause us to experience electric shocks. This is true if we touch devices connected to a short circuit or an overloaded circuit. Electric shocks or electrocution can lead to burns and can be fatal. Electric current can be dangerous to handle, which is why people have invented some safety devices to protect us from being electrocuted. Let's take a closer look at these safety devices. First on our list is the fuse. It is an electrical safety device that operates to provide overcurrent protection of an electrical circuit. Next, we have the circuit breaker. It uses magnets or bimetallic strips to open the switch of a circuit when the electric current surpasses the safety level of the circuit. This is similar to a fuse except that it is more modern and advanced because it does not get destroyed every time it detects a problem in the circuit. It is used in modern buildings and electric utility companies to protect their electrical lines. Earthing or grounding a circuit means connecting a wire, usually called an earth wire, to the ground, which creates a path of least resistance. Electricity travels through this path and through the ground. This prevents electric shocks because it diverts the electricity's path away from your body. And lastly, double insulation is used for wires to prevent them from touching each other and eventually causing a short circuit. This safety device is used when wires are covered in plastic before they are placed in outer casing. Now let's wrap things up. A series circuit involves two or more devices connected to one single path. On the other hand, a parallel circuit involves two or more devices having their own independent pathway. Basic home safety electrical devices include fuse, circuit breaker, earth pin or wire, and double insulation. Alright, that's all for now. This completes all modules for the first quarter. See you on our next video and don't forget to keep your minds busy! If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification icon for more videos like this.